they realized that if we take away Africans from practice and move them to theory, we will be creating a labor force for ourselves. Mm. So they brought a school system which did not promote thinking but promoted remembering. Mm -hmm. Say that again. They brought a school system which did not promote thinking but promoted remembering for the sake of creating good employees mm. who don't think but can remember. Mm. Okay? Right. So they brought a school system where you learnt useless things. Homo habilis. Mm. Who was Shaka's mother? Mm. What is the longest river in Africa? <laughs> yeah. Tell me what is the use of that rubbish? <laughs> okay? So you went into school and you were studying how many times Muslims pray per day. Yeah. You wake up at night to study how many times Muslims pray per day. Mm -hmm. So you memorize photosynthesis. You memorize how many teeth a dog has. Mm -hmm. you, you memorize everything. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, what did they produce? They produced someone who was a container of useless knowledge. Mm -hmm. A container of useless knowledge. knowledge. Right. That is why today we have doctors, we have been independent for 55 years. Have you heard that there are vaccines being made by Zambian doctors? Mm. So you walk out of medical school as someone who knows when to give Panadol, mm. how to take temperature. Mm. You are a doctor who is a Panadol distributor. Mm. And it's not your fault, mm. the education system. Mm. Okay? You have professors in this country, mm -hmm. in the school of forestry at Copper Belt University. Yeah. We have lived with Mukula tree since God created the world. All they know is how to label the parts of the tree. They don't know the value of the tree. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So when this mission succeeded, mm -hmm. then they came to set up industries. Mm. And when they set up industries, who was the laborer? The graduate from the school of remembering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> someone, someone, someone who would remember how to dig, where to dig. You someone who would to remember dig. how to cut a tree and how many pieces. Someone who would remember. And they rewarded you with a bribe called a salary and we became comfortable. Right. So when they come into Africa, what are they coming to do? They are coming to reap your resources and you are a means of production. Mm. So this is what made Africa poor. 